Hey everybody, welcome to another discussion video here at the BitBlock. It is your old buddy Josh Thomas, and we've also got your old buddy Rogers Base. What's going on everybody? How are you today? And what are we talking about, Josh? We are discussing the latest news that Super Smash Brothers is actually getting its own, kind of like what, mini direct? Yes, it is. It? So okay. on, uh, on Sunday, which is actually the morning of the Nintendo World Championships, at a very weird time, mind you, at 7.40 a.m. Pacific time, very weird, very specific, yeah. we are getting a Super Smash Brothers presentation narrated by the king himself, <laughs> Mr. Daddy Sakurai. He will be narrating this. He'll be talking about it. Um, it says in the description that they're just going to talk about Lucas the Splatoon Mii Fighter costumes and the Miiverse stage all being available as DLC that morning. Yep. But I don't believe that for a second because there's 20 minutes put aside just for this. I so think I'm sure there's going to be more though. information. I think, no, I think that 20 minutes they will talk about everything you just talked about. Lucas in a Miiverse stage? Really? For 20 minutes? Yeah, and the Inkling costumes. Absolutely not. There's no way. I, I refuse to believe well, it. Well, then I we're think... putting bets on it here. I'm saying they are going to talk about exactly that. You're saying that there could be more? What do you think could be discussed? I think we can either get one more information on the tournament mode, which we haven't heard anything about since the 50 Facts Direct. Mm -hmm. um, and he mentioned that that is coming very soon. And I can imagine that'll probably come in the next update. But I think we'll get information on that. I think he's going to clarify for people that there will be a balance patch alongside this new DLC. Um, because whenever you introduce a new character, you have to have a new balance patch. And I think... Even though that hasn't been discussed, I think they will at least bring it up because they know a lot of people who play Smash competitively are going to want to know like what characters they buffed and which they nerfed. And currently, right now, I know a lot of people want to see Ness get a little bit of a nerf, and uh, they also kind of want to see like Diddy stay where he is right now because he's in a really good middle ground between like not being cheap and also still having really good combos. Um, and then maybe a little bit of a nerf for Sheik. But I do think they're going to talk about some kind of balance patch. I think we'll get more information about the tournament mode, and I think we'll get at least one character reveal for DLC during this. And I'm going to make the prediction that I don't think it'll be Ryu, because I think they're going to save Ryu for the actual digital Ugh. event a couple days later. But I think it'll be a returning fighter. I think we're going to see the announcement of either Roy or Wolf. And um, I think they're going to announce them during this, sort of like as a little teaser of what's to come. And then I think the big announcement, the big character announcement, will happen during the digital event. So let's talk about that. Um, yeah. Wolf and Roy, I don't give a damn. How boring could that be? I don't care about returning characters. That's not E3 quality announcements. And Ryu... Well, I think that's why, they, that's why they put that in the in the 20 minute thing, I think. Because I agree with you on Roy. And on top of that, they have a very good opportunity to announce Roy in July because they're having that big Fire Emblem concert in Japan. And Sakurai's announced he's announcing something there and he's attending it. So I figure like Roy might be announced there or shown off or maybe he'll get released on that day sometime in July. Um, but I'm kind of with you. I'm not really excited about Roy because if they don't really change up Roy enough, we already have a Marth clone. We already have Lucina. We don't need another Marth clone. That's crazy. Yeah. And Wolf Wolf is at least different enough and he's a Star Fox character where I'd be happy to see Wolf come back. Wolf I'm, is... not I'm not particularly excited about Roy. I'm just not. Um, but I do think Ryu, regardless of how you feel about the character or not, is a huge... <clears throat> Announcement. If they announce that at E3, I mean, that's going to cause shockwaves. People, people are going to be hyped. He's not interesting enough. Party he, character. He's too much of a standard fighting game character. He's like the exact opposite of what Smash Brothers is supposed to be. See, I, I'd argue you're wrong on that front, though, because he's really iconic. He comes from Capcom. He has He's important to Nintendo's history. Street Fighter, every game in the series except for the third one and the fifth one have been on Nintendo platforms. Uh, I mean, Ryu's owned by Capcom, who also owns Mega Man, who's already put stuff in the game. I'm, I honestly, I think, I think that would be a smart move for them, would be to put Ryu in the game into announcement E3. And I do think a lot of people, myself included, the competitive community, the people who will be watching Smash Brothers competitively, would be hyped for Ryu. And I think they could do a lot of stuff with him. He could have an EX meter, similar to what Little Mac has with his KO punch. I mean, all of his special moves, Hadouken, Shoryuken, Tatsumaki, like, they could put all those to B moves, and then he could have his parry attack for one of his counters. I, he perfectly fits. It's just a matter of time before the competitive scene cries enough to where Sakurai just makes Smash Brothers a Street Fighter game. See, I don't think I don't think that's gonna happen. I also <laughs> don't think that's fair because, like, I, I am very much in the competitive scene, but I also don't sort of subscribe to all the things that the competitive scene is doing right now. Just because there's this big argument going on between whether or not it should be two stocks or three stocks, six minutes customs on, customs off. There's all this stuff. And I, I think it's kind of like a dumb argument at this point. I feel like customs on, six minutes, two socks is perfect. Um, but a lot of people argue that, and I think it's strange, but whatever. We're just going to have to wait and see. And what excites me the most is that if 
a balance patch does come with Lucas, and they do end up changing up a lot of the things in the game mechanically because of who they end up adding, like Ryu or Roy or Wolf or even a fighter ballot character. I think that could mean a lot for the competitive scene, and I'm excited to see where that takes us. So, See, I think... At E3, you need to throw a character out there that's very Smash brothers -y. You know, something that's like Duck Hunt Dog or something that's really crazy and very Nintendo-y. And I yeah. don't think either of those three characters is. Like, none of those characters that we've been talking about and that have been rumored are are that. They're like Roy, you know, eh, and Wolf is just Fat Fox. Yeah. Well, and the popular ones, like, obviously, it's E3 time, so there's fake leaks going around everywhere. Right, right. Um, but the three characters that have been mentioned a lot in, like, a lot of these fake leaks, and I guess this sort of shows that people want them, um, a lot of people are assuming that K. Rule is going to be a fighter ballot character. That'd be great. Yeah, but I don't think he'll be announced at E3. I think they'll wait until we'll October for that. Um, but some of the people that people have been bringing up, one is Wonder, uh, Wonder Red from Wonderful 101. Two is cool. Chibi Robo, because there is a new Chibi oh. Robo game coming out. There's an amiibo. And three is uh, Inkling from Splatoon. And I think all three of those would be good mm -hmm. E3 announcements, would be yeah. kind of safe bets in terms of new characters. But I think the problem that lies with those characters is that they very much seem to me like Smash 5 characters. Because if they end up blowing their load with all these new Nintendo characters this game, what are they going to have when they eventually make the new one for NX or whatever? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I do think that's a long ways off. Well, yeah, I, it's I five years off at least, but but still in all, I mean, that's you still got to think about it like that. Like, they're not going to mm -hmm. include everybody. I'd be happy if they did, but I, I do think they have to save someone. Yeah, I mean, you know, those characters that you listed are definitely more my style, and that's the thing about Smash Brothers. Like, I'm not saying, if some, if somebody wants Wolf and Roy, great, I hope they yeah. get them. I'm happy yeah, for them, for but sure. just for me, I can't personally muster up excitement for them. No, uh, I so you. I do want at least, you know, maybe one character that's like that crazy, stupid, wacky Nintendo thing that we never would have predicted. Yeah. Um, you know, it's funny because everybody talks about characters, but I, I would really like to see Smash 4 start to introduce maybe some new modes or fix some of the modes that really don't work as well as they could. Or stages. Uh, I mean, yeah, I really yeah, want stages, stage, yeah. like, I think that's a big thing that not a lot of people are talking about. And even though Miiverse is being released as a DLC stage on the 14th mm -hmm. alongside Lucas, yeah. I mean, that is something they could potentially talk about during this Direct. And I think that would be small enough where it wouldn't, like, it wouldn't hurt the digital event if they didn't announce it there. Um, but I do think they could maybe announce like new DLC stages and things like related to games coming up. So maybe stages relating to games coming out later in the year that they're going to announce at E3. Maybe like a Splatoon stage like Salt Spray Rig or Black Belly Skate Park. Either of those would really work well as a Splatoon stage. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I mean, I, I could see that happening though. Definitely like DLC character stages over characters. I think like new stages from new franchises make more sense to me. Yeah, and you know, I mean, when they add a new stage or maybe they add a new mode or something like that, there's not that sense of, oh, we got to test this like crazy, whereas with a character, they have to test it like crazy. They have to test it against every character, make sure it's not right. overpowered, underpowered. But with the stages, it's like, you know, here's a cool stage. Here's some cool right. stages. Right, they don't have to balance it. It's right. fine. And there's already plenty of competitive stages that are out there. So like mm -hmm. if they introduce a new one, no, no one in the competitive community is going to bitch and moan. You know? Well, I mean, you can just play the, what was it called? The... Help me out here. The ver the Final Destination version of every oh, stage. Or the Omega version. Yeah, Omega, sure. that's the But version. I mean, like, yeah. a lot of people are more open now in the competitive scene to playing, like, other stages, not just Omega version. And that's so good. things like the Duck Hunt stage, like the standard Duck Hunt stage, is actually legal. That's tournament legal. That's good. Because all of the, all the things that happen on it, like, nothing really could kill you that you can't predict. Mm -hmm. See, you so. guys are evolving and starting to have a little bit of fun. Yeah, good I agree. job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I, Roger, you seem to think that this thing is going to be a little bit more exciting than I do. When I first heard I about it, I was like, okay, they're going to just go over all of Lucas's moves and stuff like that. I hope you're right. I want it to be crazy, and I want it to have some announcements. And in a way, you know, maybe this could be like the Smash Brothers E3 Direct in a way, right? Where they just separate it, and it's like yeah. sort of it's equivalent to what they were going to do if they were going to have a roundtable for it. Is they yeah. would announce some new stuff, put it out separately, and it's important to note too that even though it's listed on the E3 page for Nintendo of America, it's not mentioned as an E3 event on uh, on the Nintendo of America Twitter. Whereas Japan is treating this like an E3 press conference. And so I think that's actually important to note. Um, and again, I, I do think I know you think we're not getting a lot, but I do think at least we are going to get one DLC character announcement. And the only other things I could really see them announcing during this would be one, announcing some type of early result thing where they could talk about like characters that are already getting a lot of acclaim in the fighter ballot yeah. and sort of letting those statistics go public so then people could see, oh, this character's in like third place. We'll have to start a campaign to really vote for this character if we want to see him in. Right. And because right now, 
I, like, I did that early result video, that's got like 200,000 views or something like that, but those aren't even official early results. Those are just things that like 4chan and 2chan compiled. So I think that would be important for them to put together some type of like early fighter ballot results statistic, announce it, and then maybe do something similar to what Sakurai did when Melee first came out, is do like little developer blogs talking about his ideas for these characters, and then basically asking people, do you think this would work or not? Because he did a development blog for Melee, and he even wrote little blogs about, um, James Bond and the Goldeneye characters, he wrote little blogs about, um, I'm trying to think of some of the other, Gino and Mallow from Super Mario RPG. So I think it would be interesting, and it would also be something good if we're doing new episodes of Japan Time, to talk about each week as if he's doing developer blogs talking about the possibility for new characters. Um, yep. And I do think that's something that's simple that they could announce during this. And I guess in terms of new modes, I guess that would be like the last thing we talk about. Maybe, like, bring back Target Test or Board the Platform. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Race to the Finish. Remember that Race one? to the Finish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was... When Smash Brothers originally started, like, on the N64 and even, you know, in Melee, there were kind of a lot more little extra fun things than what there are now in stuff like Classic Mode and Adventure Mode. I still... Yeah, I still miss Adventure Mode. I'm still surprised that they didn't end up going with that for Smash 4. Yeah. Um, but I, I actually want to backtrack on something that I said... A long time ago, because I actually started playing it recently, and it is actually a little bit fun. I don't love it, but oh, it is fun. Oh, I'm ready for this. Let's hear it. Smash Tour is actually pretty fun. <laughs> oh, it's actually, it's actually Woo! pretty fun. I recently was going through it trying to unlock custom uh, custom moves for like other characters in the game. Yeah. And I was playing through it again, and it is actually pretty fun. So I props to you for calling me out <laughs> saying it wasn't fun I at all. I knew it from it the chance. beginning. I knew eventually you'd come around to my way of seeing things. Yeah, it, it is pretty fun. <laughs> So. <laughs> oh, that's, you know, and it's funny because, like, if it's possible, I would like to see them update the, uh, I think it's called Smash Run, right? Smash Run on the 3DS. Oh, yeah, for if sure. If they could update that and allow us to actually see each other and interact in more yeah, ways. Yeah, that would be great. That'd be way more fun than what it is now. Yeah, like, that's so close to being something really, really special. But the fact that we cannot see each other or interact with each other really kind of kills it. And if they could yeah. find a way to update it and get that working, that would be awesome. So I'd like to see that in this uh, direct, but I don't see that happening. But yeah. yeah, sort of going back and maybe adjusting and fixing some of those extra modes to be even more fun would be very, very mm. cool. So uh, Roger, let's hope yeah. you're right. Let's hope that this does have some really cool news in it. I really do. I do think it will. I mean, I'm, I'm not even like overhyping it. I really do think we'll at the very least get like a new character or a new stage. And that alone, even with them talking about Lucas and stuff like that, that's the morning of the Nintendo World Championships. So I'm sure I'll record like a live reaction to it and then talk about it and play it and then head off to the World Championships. And I think the reason they're doing it is I think Smash Brothers might be one of the games in the World Championships. Okay. So we'll see. I'm excited about Lucas, like for the, as, as, as excited as I could be about a returning character. I actually am yeah. pretty happy about Lucas. Um, yeah, Lucas will be cool. Did I ever tell you that in Brawl, I would main Lucas because I have a pair of shoes that look exactly like Lucas's shoes when you change his color to the blue shade. That's, <laughs> that's how awesome. I that's how I pick my Smash Brothers fighters, everybody. <laughs> Based on their shoes. Based on their shoes. That's how you choose your Splatoon characters, though, Based, too. So that's it's all like, about yeah, the style. It's not different. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Roger, why don't you let everybody know where they can follow you? Sure, you can follow me at Roger's Base on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Meverse, BlackPeopleMeet.com. Wherever you want to find me, <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> I thought that was you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, it's been fun chatting about Smash Brothers. I mean, you know, For sure. we'll, we'll definitely talk about it when this direct happens, and we're going to be at E3 going crazy in just a few days. See you in a couple days, Josh. Yep. It's going <laughs> to be fun. Start the fanfics, everybody. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.